Hi everyone. If you're trying to expand your C drive, but your recovery partition is in the way, then please follow the instructions in this video to do it easily without any third-party software. So before you can expand your C drive, you need to either move the recovery partition to the end of the system disk or remove it altogether. To move the recovery partition to the end of the system disk, please follow the instructions in my earlier video, whose link is included in this video's description. It's a slightly lengthy process, but if you follow the instructions carefully, it should be a breeze for you. At the end of the process, you should have your recovery partition move to the end of the system disk like this one here. And then the second option of getting the recovery partition out of the way is by removing it altogether. I would not recommend this option, but if you insist, you can follow these steps to remove it. First, on the disk management, take note the disk and partition numbers of the recovery partition. For my case, it's on disk 0 and partition 4. Now run the command prompt as an administrator. On the command prompt, type disk part to run the built-in Windows disk partition utility. On the disk part prompt, type select disk, followed by your recovery partition's disk number, where for my case is disk 0. Then type select partition, followed by the recovery partition's partition number. Now before you proceed, please make sure one more time that you have entered the correct disk and partition numbers in the previous two commands. Once you have confirmed, type delete partition override to delete your recovery partition. All right, once successfully deleted, exit disk part and close the command prompt. Now go back to the disk management and you should have an unallocated space right next to your C drive, which you can easily merge into one. All right, now to expand your C drive further, first you will need to shrink the volume on the right of your C drive, which for my case here is the D drive. So right click the volume and then click shrink volume. You will have to shrink it such that its total size after shrink is equal to the desired size of your C drive expansion. For example, I want to expand my C drive by 10 gigabytes. Since my D drive size is about 30 gigabytes, I will have to shrink it by 20 gigabytes so that its size after shrink is 10 gigabytes. So consequently, before you can shrink your data drive, you will have to make sure that the currently occupied space is not larger than the size after shrink. If it is, then you'll need to move some files to other location first. To find out the use space, Right-click the volume, and then click Properties. For my case here, my D drive contains only about 2 gigabytes of data, so I don't need to move any files before shrinking it to 10 gigabytes. All right, now let me shrink my D drive by 20 gigabytes. Since 1 gigabyte is equal to 1,024 megabytes, I will have to enter 20 times 1024, which comes out to be 20,480 megabytes. As you can see here, the size after shrink will be 10,238 megabytes which is very close to full 10 gigabytes. If I want it to be exactly 10 gigabytes, then I will have to reduce the amount of space to shrink by two more megabytes. All right, now click shrink and you'll have an unallocated space next to your existing data drive. Now right click the unallocated space and create a new volume. Use all the available space, assign the desired drive letter and give it a proper volume label. Once the new volume is successfully created, Open your file explorer and you should have a new empty drive, which for my case here is the F drive. Now move all the files from your old data drive to the new drive. Once your old data drive is empty, go back to the disk management and delete the volume. So right click the old data drive right next to the C drive and then click delete volume. Now you should have an unallocated space right next to the C drive. Then right-click the C drive, and then click Extend Volume. Use all the available unallocated space, and you should have your C drive expanded. All right, so that's how easy it is to expand your C drive size when the recovery partition is in the way. I hope you find this guide useful, and thank you for watching.